Welcome to Peregrine. This is an infinite exploration -y game made by Aaron Wright for the Procedural Generation Jam. If you'd like to play it for yourself, you can grab it as a name your own price sort of thing with no minimum, and I'll have a link to that in the description. Let's begin. This is uh, a procedurally generated game, and apparently it is an infinite forest. Can't go to the left, but I can go to the right. It seems to be very, very slow-paced and meditative, which I really like. And even though it is infinite, it does apparently have an end. Of course, it is an optional end, since you could just keep going if you want to. Hello there! You smile at the creatures and wonder if you could be friends. It's been a long time since you had any worthy of the name. Turnit is gone like many others, I fear. I've been wandering this forest a long time, you know. One day I'll no longer be able to take this journey. Am I on the same journey? There's too many clouds out for my taste. Couldn't we just build a city in the forest? There's no need to find the end. Maybe living in the forest alone would be better. What is this? You see a caravan off to the side of the road. Oh god, what's happening? The text disappeared so quickly. <laughs> My character was stuck running in place. I missed it. Can you do something with it? Doesn't seem like it. It feels eerie now that the rain has stopped. It's... it's too quiet. May your walks be energetic. Not even my great-grandmother knew why we went on this journey. It will be nice... it will be so nice to finally rest. Are we all just going on a pointless journey? Nobody knows why we're actually ma making this... this pilgrimage? One of these days, I'm going to snap. Did I ask you to talk to me? I don't even care if we find find the end. Yeah, I really quickly quickly looked up the name Peregrine, by the way, and apparently it's an old word that means something like like pilgrim or wanderer or something of the sort. Something to do with making a journey. Why did I even bother getting out of bed this morning? I feel ill. The end of the forest is a myth. The elder tells me I should look on the bright side of things. We walk and nothing happens. Go away. <laughs> Rude. I hate Turnit. The pilgrimage is pointless. Autumn is the worst. Turnit seems to have gotten lost. Have you heard of something called a computer? The elders tell of it in stories. I've heard stories about cities with houses. Do you ever think I'll see one?
birds. There's a little bird on the ground. Come back! The trees are so beautiful this time of year. The young don't know what's ahead. Only Turnit knows. What an absolutely wonderful morning. It must be so fascinating outside the forest, don't you think? I hope the next break is soon. I'm feeling a bit peckish. Looking at the deer, you feel a ping of sadness. Is this world truly real? Wait, what deer? I see something back here. Is that like the tail of a deer or something? Right there. Right next to the... Like right behind the, uh, the tree. This seems to be a child. Everyone keeps talking about Turnit. I don't know any Turnit. I bet outside the forest you get to sleep all day. What are you, anyway? What are you? Has anyone seen Turnit? It must be so fascinating outside the forest, don't you think? Do you hear that singing in the distance? Perhaps it's a song just for me. I'm way too hungry to walk on pilgrimage. It's all well and good to have a purpose in life. But this is just silly. The end of the forest is a myth. What is that noise? Oh. Press up to end your journey. Uh. No thanks. I don't know what would happen if I pressed up, but let's not do that. Not yet. I don't feel like I've seen enough yet. I think I read that one before. May your walks be energetic. The young don't know it's ahead. One day I'll no longer be able to take this journey. Ooh, so many of them. What I bother getting out of bed this morning? This is everything I know. How incredibly sad. Perhaps Turnit went to build his own city in the forest. I'm so tired. I don't like all this walking. I wonder if Turnit has been outside the forest. I wonder what story will be told tonight. I hope it has action. May the end of the forest take us all. Turnit the Wanderer. Turnit the Lost. Tonight I'll tell my grandchildren the dream I had of a city when I was young. Too many clouds out. Read that one before. May the rain. Whoa, whoa, calm down, text. May the rains come and wash our worries away. When I was young, I dreamed of cities. But now, I only look forward to my memories. What a strange. What a strange looking creature you are. I could scream. The end of the pilgrimage is a bunch of nonsense anyway. Wait, you could scream? What do you mean? Do you find me horrifying? Oh, listen to that bird. You don't hear it? Turnit is ridiculous. 
Who knows how he disappeared? I bet the end of the forest is just around that corner. I don't think so. I don't think there are any corners. Too hungry? Hate turn it? We're going one step at a time into hell. Hey, where's Turnit? I love the pilgrimage. I bet the end of the forest is just around that corner. Walking, walking, always the same thing. This is everything I know. How incredibly sad. Sleeping is the only time I feel at peace. Hey, who are you? Should I be talking to you? At night they tell stories about the pilgrimage. And what's outside the forest? I wonder what story will be told tonight. I hope it has action. I think even the text is procedurally generated, isn't it? Because like, part of that I think I've read and part of it I haven't. The action part I've read before, but the first part was different, I think. Wonderful morning. Mm hmm. You smell that in the air. It reeks of change. It makes me shiver. Birdies. Yeah, I think I've seen almost all of the text. I think there's more to find, though. I'm pretty sure there is. I feel like I can do something with those carts, but it doesn't seem like it. I wonder if I'll find another end, another place where I can end my journey, whatever that means. I don't know if things get re-procedurally generated if you go backwards. I have no idea. So I don't know if I can go back to find that spot. Let's just keep going forwards. Not even my footsteps make a sound. Not even their footsteps make a sound. looks like a clearing in the forest. Like the one back there where I could end my journey, but it isn't.
You know, I remember, there's a third option in the menu. This one. I don't know what it says. It's like it's blurred out. You can't click it. Oh. Hello. You're new? <laughs> Got a little umbrella there. Where are you from? I haven't seen you around before. That's a good question. I actually have no idea where I'm from. You know, I feel like your umbrella is a little bit small for the size of your body. Alright, well, good day. Oh, there's a face back there. I just disappeared. You see a creature in the woods, its eyes stare into you, ripping you apart bit by bit. Ugh. This journey actually might literally never end. Hold on. I'm curious, what happens if I go back? Let's see if it is actually randomly generated backwards as well as forwards. So there's two. We got like two trees right here at the end. Okay, two walkers. Two trees. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like it's randomly generated if you go backwards. I think that means I could actually go back and find the spot where I could end my journey. It'd be a long backtrack, like 10 minutes. But I could. That would be very cruel if that was the only place you could actually end the journey at. Let's go forward a couple more screens.
one more. Okay, well, I think I'll end it here. This is an interesting game. I'm pretty sure I could go back to end the journey. So, it, it seems like, as far as I can tell, your options are to either press forwards and access more randomly generated forest, which almost certainly doesn't have an end, although it might. There's no way to know. The creatures walking around here certainly seem to think it doesn't have an end, and based on what I've seen so far, that seems to be true. There's an end to the forest? If there's an end to the forest, I'll find it. That's going to be a long journey, fellow traveler. So, as far as I can tell, my options are to either infinitely go forwards and hope that I find something, an end, or backtrack. And I don't really want to backtrack. As much as I am curious to see what would happen if I actually ended my journey back there, it would literally be like a 10 to 15 minute backtrack, and that's, that's no fun. Because nothing seems to be randomly generated when you go backwards, so I'd be seeing everything that I've already seen before. Hmm. It's an interesting grouping of trees over there on the right. I don't think it means anything, but I'm curious. One more? Just one more? No, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so as much as I am curious to go backwards and go back and end my journey and see what that would do. I don't actually want to do that because to do that would be very kind of grindy. I think it would ruin the experience. To spend 15 minutes going back over areas that I've already been to and I've already seen. It wouldn't be interesting. So I don't think I want to do that. I think I'll just end it here. It's strange. I'm trying to think of how I feel about this game. I mean, at the same... On, on one hand, I like that it's kind of uncertain. There's no definite end, as far as I can tell, if you keep journeying forwards into the forest. Just like the creatures. They seem to see no end, and neither do you. I think it's interesting, but at the same time, I can't deny that it leaves me feeling very unsatisfied. But at the same time... Is that maybe a good thing? I mean, so many games are nowadays are built around satisfying the player. And, you know, kind of bowing at their feet and power fantasies and stuff like that. So, it does feel unsatisfying, but maybe that's okay? I don't know. I mean, I definitely do feel like more random generation, just more stuff to see, would be more interesting. Because at this point, I feel like I've probably seen like 99% of what's there. Because it doesn't seem like there's really that much new stuff to see. Because I ran through most of the text, and all the birds, and... I, I saw that strange creature, but aside from that, I ran through most of the permutations of kind of things to see pretty quickly. But it was made for a, a, you know, it is a jam game, made for the procedural generation jam, so it's, I'm sure it's no surprise that it isn't quite filled out with tons of stuff. So, would have liked to have seen more stuff, just to make it more exciting to journey forwards, but I think I'm okay with it being unsatisfying. I think that's okay. I don't really have a problem with that. It's interesting, because I'm kind of stuck between thinking, is that a problem, or is it not a problem? I don't think it's a problem. I think it's okay. And I'm just going to leave it there. It's okay. It's unsatisfying. But maybe if I go one more screen over, I'll find the end of my journey? My life will have purpose? Nope. But that's okay. So, that has been Peregrine. Thank you for watching.